Why does my blood pressure change? That's a common question that patients have. Many people that looked at my other video regarding reducing stress with breathing and I used a blood pressure monitor to show how it'll normalize blood pressure. So a lot of people made comments that were funny because they thought that the blood pressure stays the same number. Here's the answer. Blood pressure is not like your age. When you turn 50 years old, you are 50 for 365 days out of that year. You get to use that particular number for the entire year. It doesn't change. It doesn't go lower and doesn't go higher. Well, blood pressure is not like that. Blood pressure is a fluctuating number. If I were to be sitting here and be excited, my blood pressure would be reflected of that. If I were to relax, my blood pressure may normalize. If I were to run around the building right now, come back, check my blood pressure, my blood pressure would be higher. There are two numbers when it comes to blood pressure. There is what's called the first number and the second number. The first number is called a systolic. And so when your heart beats, it's pushing blood through the arteries. And what happens is the best way to use an analogy would be to think of like a fire hose. When the water is going through the fire hose, there's a lot of pressure in that hose. So when the heart beats and pumps, it pushes that blood through the arteries. The arteries will hopefully expand a little bit. And what ends up happening is there's a certain pressure. And we measure this in millimeters of mercury for pressure. That's the first number. The second number is called the diastolic. And what ends up happening is when the heart beats and then relaxes, there's still blood in your arteries. So the arteries are relaxing, but there's less pressure. So that's what's measured as the diastolic. Now, which one is more important? Sometimes people will ask. Well, that depends. Depends on the year that we're talking about. In 1970, 1980, they thought that the diastolic was the only important one, and they'd almost ignored the first one. Now we know that both are important. If they're both within normal, then everything is fine. But the blood pressure will fluctuate. So in the morning, you can check your blood pressure. And let's say hypothetically your blood pressure is 120 over 80, right in that smack in the middle. And then you go downstairs to have breakfast. You walk down the stairs and you're standing up now and you're preparing breakfast and you check your blood pressure. If your blood pressure is 122 over 78, you can't say to yourself, oh no, what am I going to do? My blood pressure is higher because the one, the, the systolic is higher. Well, the, the diastolic was normal and it's still within somewhat normal. And then if you walk outside, you get in your car, you drive to work, you can check your blood pressure at work, your blood pressure may change. Let's say it's Let's say it's 118 over 72. Well, that's still considered normal. So your blood pressure will change and fluctuate throughout the day depending on your activity levels, depending on stuff that you eat. Certain foods that we eat will lower blood pressure. Certain foods that we eat will raise blood pressure. For example, caffeine. If you have a cup of coffee and then you wait 20 minutes and you check your blood pressure, your blood pressure is going to be higher. So your blood pressure is constantly fluctuating. It's not a static number, and that's important to understand. So if you thought this video was interesting, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're watching. If you have any specific questions about your fluctuating blood pressure, ask in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to answer any reasonable questions. And thanks for watching.